I recently did a series on the uh, 1969 Hood Class A amplifier. And I emphasize that the voltage at this point should be one half of this total voltage. Now the voltage at this point is a result of a voltage divider. The upper resistance in the voltage divider is this transistor and the lower resistance is this transistor. This is not bias on these transistors. This is a midpoint of the totem pole to be set at static conditions to one half of whatever VCC is. I think everybody understood that. I'm just repeating myself, I hope. Then I said you could adjust this voltage by adjusting the bias on this transistor. And I hope I used the word bias, not voltage. It appears that they're the same thing, but Remember that the bias on a bipolar transistor is current, not voltage. So what sets the current through this transistor? Well, we're looking for a, a bias, a difference in voltage, between here and the emitter. And the emitter is tied through a complicated circuit back to this point here. But there is a resistor in series. We also have a collector resistor down here that provides the gain output. The voltage here is determined by the current drawn by the base, as well as the voltage divider composed of these three resistors. I'm going to simplify the drawing a little bit. You can see that neglecting the current, the voltage here will be less than one half of this because this total resistance up here is 139k and this is 100k. So if we neglect that current, if these resistances up and down but were equal and we neglect that current, it would be divided equally. But it's not equal. This is 139 and this is 100. Okay. So let's see what voltage we actually get here when we adjust this to one half of VCC. I resurrected one of these hood amplifiers. It's number two. It was number two in my series. And you can see uh, we have a voltage divider here consisting of 80k in the upper half. That's 75k plus 10k. And somewhere between 0 and 100k in the lower half. Voltage divider that provides the voltage here, that provides the current here. And infamous point X it's not in my drawing. Must be on a revised drawing. Is here. We look at VCC, and it's 20 volts. We look at the X point, which is here, and you see that's 10.2, 10.02. So that's half of this. But what is the bias here? It measured in volts. Well, the only thing available to me is R1. I can't get to the legs of these transistors. This is buried under a uh, big fat capacitor. This is buried under this this potentiometer but R1 
is here. This is the top of R1 up here, and this is actually the bias voltage on this transistor. So we'll measure the top of the resistor. Okay, we're right here right now. And you see it's a little low, less than VCC, which it should be because we're measuring the drop across R3. Number of VCC is 20. We'll go to the other side of R1, which will put us on the base of the transistor. And that is here. So you see it, an 8 and 3 quarters, to call it 8 and 3 quarters volt. Voltage here sets the crossover point at mid VCC. And that's because this is a current device. If this were an FET, and if everything else being equal, uh, the voltage would probably be about half of VCC. But since we're, this voltage has to supply to some current, which is flowing through these resistors, in addition to the static voltage divider current, uh, we end up with less than V, less than one half VCC. I should point out that these amplifiers, all four of them, and a drawing like this for each one, uh, is posted below the video down here. Thank you.